Don't tell me you want him back. Not after you left him behind when you moved to that fancy boarding school. But if you do, I'm sure we could work something out. <laughs> Mostly because you told me to. <laughs> That's ironic, because I've been keeping them for you ever since that same talk. I wanted to prove to you how hard you were being on yourself. How much the good outweighs the bad. Maybe back then. I made up for lost time lately. I'd like us to do the same. Come back inside with me, Hope. Our family needs to lay Klaus to rest. My father's never going to be at rest until he knows I'm going to be OK. Which means you know you're not OK. And that's the first step. <laughs> What's the last step? Hmm? I'd like to end this morbid family reunion. Tell you what, come back with me. And I'll give you 10 points. I'm not a kid anymore. Earn those 10 points. And Vincent will drop the spell that's keeping you here. Now, do we have a deal or not? Bringing me here was pointless. If the price is that stupid toy, it's my humanity, Marcel, and you can keep it. When you found this and gave it back to me, I was in a pretty dark place like you. This toy reminded me of a time when I wasn't. It still does. Here's what I don't get about astral projection. How can I sit down next to you but not grab that toy? Yeah, how do your feet touch the ground but not go through it, all right? It's witch stuff. Best not to think about it. You look silly in that suit. <laughs> Thanks. One of Elijah's old ones. And that is minus one point. Two points if I count what you said about Percival. I stopped giving myself points for doing good things, subtracting them from my mistakes a long time ago. <laughs>